guys so I said I was going to <laughs> I said I was going to um film my flexi rod whatever experiment I've never done um, flexi rods on my natural hair I've done it on my straight hair and I've done it on extensions but never with my hair like this so we will see how it comes out um, as you can see, I'm almost done. I didn't want to do a whole video of uh, me just rotting my hair. There are like tons of flexi rod videos on YouTube already. So I'm just going to do the last two, maybe three I think I have left in this section and um, on camera. And then I'll come back when I'm taking them out. So as you can see, it looks, it's not neat at all. It looks um, a hot mess. Let me get to rolling. Oh, what I'm using. So I co-washed my hair and then I left like about 30, I don't want to say percentage, but I left some of the conditioner in my hair. I didn't rinse it all out on the final rinse. And then I got out the shower while it was still wet in, in its sections and I put in um, my Rim Pure Argan Oil Deep Penetrating Oil Treatment and I really like this stuff and then that was it to prep it and I am setting my curls with my Eco Styler Gel. This has been a lifesaver this past week when I wasn't combing my hair like I could just put a little bit of that in my head and put up my high puff and I'm good to go but it's not heavy so I didn't feel bad about using it every day. Like I didn't have any product build up for this week. Um, getting it out of my hair was no problem. Actually, I would wake up the next day and it would be like I never put gel in my hair. So that's why I love the Eco Styler um, gel because it doesn't hover in your hair. Um, there's no product build up. It's easy to wash out. Like I said, I co-wash, I didn't use any shampoo and I got my hair perfectly clean. So, all right, let me do these couple of rods for you guys so i have already put the eco styler in my hair and what i'm gonna do now is go out Ugh. so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the rod and i'm gonna bring it all the way let me get in the camera <laughs> no point in doing it if you can't see so I'm gonna take the rod and bring it all the way to the end. And I meant to get in wraps, but I forgot and I just went on ahead and did it. And then you're gonna roll and you wanna roll with tension. You don't wanna pull too hard, but you definitely wanna pull hard enough to where uh, you are straightening out your hair as much as possible. And especially at the roots, um, I know for me to get my ends straight, it's like nothing. Um, the little bit of tension will do it, but to get those roots, whew, I need to get in there. So this is the last section that I have left. And I'm trying to decide if this is too big for one or should I... Sorry guys, um, I hate having hair on my hands and stuff on my hands. So after every time I roll, I rinse my hands off with water. So, um, and then I use the water in my hair. Um, so yeah, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and make this one big section. It's in the front, so it'll dry quickly. Put my gel on. I'm so not in the camera. I am so sorry, guys. So, gel on. Make sure I get those roots. And then, I have to open up another pack of flowers. So, yeah, that's me rinsing my hands. Sorry. I really do have a thing about stuff on my hand. So, and these are the Flexi Rods that I use. I don't think I mentioned them. And they are the Annie Soft Twist Rollers. And I get the purple ones. Um, I've always bought, and they're the 3 4th diameter. Yeah. So, I've always, and they're $4.99. Great. Um, great. 
So I've always bought the purple ones because I always thought the purple ones were the biggest one. But in my little trip to my favorite hood beauty store, I've come across black ones that look way bigger. They might actually be an inch and these are three fourths of an inch. So I was very intrigued by that because that's why, you know, when I first bought mine, the purple ones were the biggest ones and that's why I got them. So maybe they were just the biggest ones at that particular beauty supply and I just never stopped to like look and check to see if there were anything bigger anywhere else. So I flex it and you can just snap it on just like that. I'm trying to keep it out my face as much as I can because I do want to wash my face and I'm leaving these on until like I'm about to walk out the door tonight. I'm going out. So I'm leaving these on until I'm walking out the door. Um, so I want to be able to do my makeup and stuff. That's me washing my hands. I, I can't stand having stuff on my hands. I can't stand it. So um, yeah. So that's it. Like I said, I just wanted to come really quickly and show you this. I know really all you care about is the um, reveal. And we're going to all be surprised together because I've never done this before on my natural hair. So if it comes out how I'm seeing it in my head, which it probably won't, um, great. If, it, if it's just a mess, that's fine too. I bought some hair uh, clips and styling utensils, you know, to jazz it up a little bit. And if all else fails, the high puff will win me over yet again. It saves my life. So, all right, I'll come back when I'm ready to take these out. Um, quick note, I am going to go sit under my soft bonnet dryer for, I don't know, an hour, maybe two hours if I can stand it. Maybe I'll do an hour now, take a break, do an hour later um type of thing but yeah i'm just gonna go do some work and sit under the dryer i hate the dryer but it's 12 40 right now and um yeah i need these to be dry and last week my curl farmers <laughs> laughed at me when i thought that i could not get under the dryer and just leave them in all day no so see you later guys with the reveal bye Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take down these flexi rods. Um, yeah, it's, I finished my hair around noon, one, something like that. Then I did two and a half hours under the dryer and then I went and took a nap and then at around eight-ish, I sat under the dryer for another hour and then I ran a quick errand and now I came home, I did my makeup and I'm going to go ahead and take these out. So let's pray because I'm already late. So there's nothing I can do about it except put it up to a puff or put it over to the side or whatever. So, all right, let's see what it looks like.
Okay. <laughs> so for the most part they came out, my hair is still damp in the back. Um, and this, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. So, it looks like I will be doing a push it over to the side uh, type of deal. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and style this best way I can and then I'll be back. Alright, bye. Hey guys, so <laughs> yeah, um, like I, sorry, anyway, um, like I said, my hair wasn't dry, so I had to figure out some styling for it, and I really wasn't in the mood, I'm having eyelash issues, anyway, I wasn't in the mood to like, put it in a high puff, because I always put it in a high puff, so I was like, let me just swoop it over to the side, I'm gonna show y'all the back, y'all gonna know what the back look like, I don't even know what the back look like, I don't even care. So, yeah, that's what it looks like in the back. And I literally just pulled it over and started popping bobby pins in it. So, um, and then this is the front. Here's a close-up of what it kind of looked like. I don't know, like it was wet, some were dry, some were wet, some didn't have a curl at all. It was like I hadn't done anything to it. But this is it. I am late. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm late, so this is as good as it's gonna get, guys, for tonight, anyway. And I think it's kind of cute. It's a little, like, curly, messy, froey kind of thing, and I'll be picking at it on my way there. And I have bobby pins in my purse. You know, you gotta keep them pins in your purse. So, all right. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> I said on my Facebook page, which is Noelle Adores, I'll put it down there. Um, I said we're going to all be surprised together about how this turns out. And, um, yeah, I'm surprised. I guess you guys should be surprised, too. Uh, yeah, that's the thing about natural hair. It doesn't do what you want it to do all the time. And this is definitely not what I was going for. This is definitely not what I was going for, but whatever. I'm cute. So that's good enough for me. I'll do one more turn. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.